It was dangerous. It was, I, everybody was scared and shocked. Lord, please get them out their house. Shocking video of a Lord. school bus catching fire and crashing into a home. How the driver and homeowners are doing this morning. A weather alert for your Wednesday. Widespread rain expected later today. We'll talk about the totals and the gusty winds to follow. This is a significant cost project. It's tens of millions of dollars. Pothole problems. How a new MODA project starting today could prevent future potholes from cropping up in South City. Closing a digital divide. The new office opening today that'll expand access to technology across our area. 77 years old and giving it all we got. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maximum exertion. Strengthening their bodies and their friendship. Meet the two women in their 70s, proving age is just a number. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good morning, St. Louis. This is over at the old post office plaza where every Wednesday, starting today, lunchtime live is going to start taking place. We're talking food trucks and live music. If you are planning on going, you know, maybe leaving the office place and going down there for a bite to eat, you might want to bring an umbrella or, as yeah. Anthony likes to say, a poncho. Yes, I know poncho. no one that has a poncho. <laughs> Unless you're at a baseball game, but yeah. maybe it's the thing. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 10th. I'm Renee Knott. And I'm Sydney Stallworth. Michelle Lee is off for the rest of the week. Thanks for waking up with you, or for us. Mm. Waking up with us. Is there what you I go. Mean. Yeah, thanks there for waking go. up with us, especially <laughs> if you're watching on 5 Plus. We have a lot to get to. And you did mention the showers are coming in mm -hmm. later on today. Mm -hmm. We are in a weather alert day. Let's get on over to Anthony Slaughter with the details. The hey, poncho Anthony. pusher, I guess. Yes, Renny, I own a poncho. Do you so, really? You, know, okay. you do know somebody who okay. owns a poncho. One um, hoodies, umbrellas, those will work as well. Just depending on, you know, what kind of outfit you have underneath. You may not want it to get wet. I don't know you ladies. Yeah, don't mess with the hair. All right. Hey, you can see we do have showers coming in from the south. So, yes, we will have rain around today. Whatever you like to wear to keep you safe from the rain, grab that. We call it rain gear. So you'll need that today. Showers moving in from the south. Even some yellow po uh, showing up here from Freeburg over towards Smithton. Uh, right about to hit Belleville. That's some moderate rain, but aside from that, it's light spotty rain for St. Louis Metro. Numbers in the 50s to right about 60 degrees to start. So mild once again, but we don't move much today because of the clouds and the heavy rain expected later this afternoon and evening. We'll talk about the rain and the gusty wind to come for Thursday. That is in just a few minutes. Let's get over to Paul Cook and get an update on our 6 a.m. traffic. Paul, starting to get heavy out there. Yeah, uh, volume heavier, and we do have wet conditions in some areas. I do think we're moving better here at the inner belt. The inner belt right before 6440, and this would be 170 going southbound. I see 48 miles an hour there, and we had an accident that should be moved aside very soon because I've been looking at the cameras. Very normal speeds there, very normal speeds everywhere right now. So if you're leaving in the next 20 minutes or so, you should be good. Construction coming up here on 44 at 47. So Franklin County, but then again at 109 tonight. So yes, construction. We're always talking about it. Otherwise, you're just very, very green, as you can see here on the big map. And well, I think that crash should not impede your route. Same story with the Poplar Street Bridge. You are flying. Don't fly too much. Another take of traffic minutes away. Some road work happening in just a few hours could impact your commute in South St. Louis. Our Megan Kernan is live at the latest MoDOT construction site that will likely impact your drive. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Sydney and Rennie. That's right. And just a few hours at 9 a.m., crews will get to work on the ramp behind me at southbound I-55 in Bates. Now, MoDOT crews will close this ramp for about a week or so, and they'll be updating shoulders, curbs, drainage, and guardrails all along the ramp at exit 203. Now, drivers can detour to the Loftborough Avenue at exit 202C. MoDA engineer Jen Wade explains what improvements drivers may notice when the road work is completed and also talked about crews tackling potholes along area highways as the weather gets warmer. This is a maintenance project, so it feels it feels a little bit underwhelming maybe to the residents who are when it's all done and back, it'll feel and look a lot like the old road, except it'll have a great surface on it. We're gonna see fewer potholes. We'll have fewer times that our maintenance crews need to be out on the road fixing potholes and fewer chances that, uh, you know, you might be impacted by a pothole. 
Now, this work is part of the Interstate 55 bridge rehab project that's expected to be completed late next year for the entire stretch of I-55. Reporting live in South St. Louis, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Thank you, Megan. This morning, a family and a bus driver are grateful to be alive. After this school bus here caught fire and crashed into a Normandy home. It happened around 630 on Monday night on Ellington Drive. Witnesses tell us they saw sparks flying from under the bus before it caught fire. The terrified driver was able to jump from the burning bus before it rolled across the front yard, hit a parked car and plowed into a house. Thankfully, no students were on that bus and the bus driver suffered only minor injuries. No one inside the home was hurt. Investigators don't know what caused the fire, though. Closing the digital divide this morning, the Urban League is teaming up with some tech companies to do just that. And this has been an issue for some time in our region. Our Travis Cummings is joining us live this morning in Jennings. He has much more on this project and it'll really help a lot of our local families, right, Travis? It sure will, Sydney. This collaboration between the Urban League and area tech companies is all about making technology available to everyone. This morning from 10 to 1130, these groups will roll out a resource that's really going to be a game changer for families to stay up to speed in our area. Let me tell you about some of the things that it can do and who's all involved in this project. AT&T, Worldwide Technology, Zendesk, and the Urban League have teamed up with Empower Missouri to create the first Empower Community Help Desk in St. Louis. This help desk will provide free tech support to underserved communities, benefiting over 900 local families by July 2025. That's what they're striving for. Families can get assistance with a number of things that includes online classes for students, troubleshooting connectivity issues on video calling platforms, diagnosing Wi-Fi issues and beyond. The help desk will be open from 9 to 5 Monday through Friday at 1408 Kings Highway in Suite 109. You can submit a help ticket by sending them an email also at the address there on your screen or calling them at 314-310-1031. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to take a deeper dive at how this is impacting our families across our region. Live in Florissant, Travis Cummings, five on your side. Thank you, Travis. Today, St. Louis County election judges will recount some ballots. Missouri law requires the mandatory recount to make sure elections in St. Louis County are secure and they are accurate. The manual recount begins at 9 o'clock this morning at the St. Louis County Board of Elections in St. Anne. The funding feud among St. Louis County officials was not brought up during last night's county council meeting. County Executive Dr. Sam Page wants to raise taxes to pay for a new $562 million county government building and needs the council's approvement, uh, approval. But Council Chair Shalanda Webb wants him to release his hold on federal pandemic funds first. Page's office says he's never connected his project to ARPA funds. And speaking of the county right now, St. Louis County is accepting bids to build a new police facility in Maryland Heights. The 49,000 square foot building will serve as a base for police intelligence and property control center as well. Federal relief money is funding the $46 million project and construction is expected to start in June. All right, if you're just waking up and joining us, we are talking weather alert this morning because of rain that is expected to become heavier through the day. So at the bus stop this morning, it's just a light shower. Kiddos don't need the umbrella or the ponchos, maybe just something with a hoodie. Uh, 58 degrees to start the day. We go into the afternoon, numbers in the 60s, but it's the heavy rain that comes our way this afternoon and evening. So if you're headed perhaps down to the Cardinals game or maybe even out to the uh, lunch thing that's happening in downtown, just keep in mind, you'll have some showers around uh, this afternoon. You see all the rain to our south future shows that area of low pressure moving our way. This is five o'clock this evening and notice it's heavy rain. All those bright colors could even have a few rumbles of thunder this evening. If we go into tonight, area of low pressure moves right over us. That's going to kick up our winds. Our winds tonight could go 30 miles per hour and then tomorrow 40 miles per hour. 7 a.m. Still looking at steady rain through tomorrow morning and then it's tomorrow afternoon when you see the showers become more spotty into tomorrow night. The rain moves away. The winds die down and we go into the weekend with some really warm Warm air. I mean, it is going to feel like summer this weekend with highs climbing into the 80s. We'll talk about how much rain's on the way for today and tomorrow and a look at the radar that's coming up. 
A mom and dad sentenced to their son's mass school shooting. How long the crumbly parents will be in prison? Plus, new allegations against yet another Boeing plane model. Hear the safety concerns from a whistleblower.